Hey guys, uh, this is Shockmaster. Um, in this video, I'm going to try to demonstrate what um, Pybach has uh, discovered. Um, hopefully, I'm saying that right. I don't even, I'm not sure if I remember his username correctly, but uh, he recently made a post about uh, why uh, XP tablet uh, sometimes has lag with certain apps um, with your pen strokes. And uh, now this goes way back. I mean, people have been complaining about this for a long time. I personally uh, discovered that the Vista doesn't have the same kind of lag problems that the XP Tablet Edition has. So I've been recommending to people that uh, if they do any kind of art um, with the that uh, and you have applications that must use Wacom's driver, uh, you have to use XP. Uh, you can't use XP Tablet, and you have to use Vista. But uh, what Pyback has discovered is that it's not necessarily true. You, it's just a setting that you have to change in XP Tablet, and it'll get rid of the lag. So let me demonstrate that for you. Um, the by the way, setting in question uh, is called a uh, uh, press and hold, I believe, a uh, click and hold. And what that deals with is uh, for pen operations, um, certain pens uh, don't have a lot of buttons, so. What Microsoft has done is uh, enabled a function where if you hold on your pen, then you can then use that as a right click of the mouse. So uh, if you just tap, nothing happens, but if you hold it down, then this little mouse icon with the right button highlighted comes up and you can access the right click. See that? Okay. So that's the. Uh, setting that we're going to change later, but uh, before that, I'm going to show you what kind of lag we were talking about, and the um, one of the best programs to show that is uh, Corel Painter 10. Uh, by the way, I apologize for the uh, crappy camera I'm using. It's my point-and-shoot camera. Uh, I'm using this uh, movie mode, which shows only a 320 by 240, uh, but it's the only thing I have, so sorry about that. Okay, so um, one of the uh, things I used in the past to show this problem is to do a quick text writing uh, test uh, in Painter. Um, because you have to do strokes really quickly, it will definitely show any kind of lag that happens. Um, I'm just going to write a sentence as fast as I can. Okay, here we go. Hopefully I can do this uh, and film at the same time. Okay. Okay, so as you can see that, uh, like that K there, uh, the F, the X, uh, I started stroke there, but it didn't really uh, register, J and U, uh, D, you can see some kind of really weird lumping, lumpy beginning there, which shouldn't be there. So, um, yeah, and L, there's a little jagged beginning there, as is Y. That's, that shouldn't happen. Uh, when I was using uh, Painter, back then it was, uh, I believe, 6, version 6. Um, oops, I think I just covered over the microphone. Uh, when I was using Painter 6 with my Cintiq 15X, uh, it had none of these problems. And uh, back then I was using, obviously it was before, XP Tablet Edition came out, and so I was using, uh, or it might have been, but I was using XP Pro. Regular XP Pro, and it was the strokes looked great. And had none of these problems. Uh, so when uh, when I bought my tablet PC and I tried XP Pro uh, XP Tablet Edition, and it was having these problems, I was very distraught. Um, when Vista came out, I tried that out just to see if it got rid of the problem, and it did. So that's why I've been recommending everybody that use to use Vista for this kind of stuff. But all right. Um, 
So one of the other things I can use in Painter to show the problem is um, in its preferences, there's something called uh, brush tracking. And what this little uh, utility is uh, designed to do is to um, take your input of your pen and sort of adjust its brush brushes accordingly. Uh, but uh, wh what it does is it shows exactly what kind of pressure you're using with the pen and how fast you're going and all this stuff. So it's very useful for this. Um, let me do a stroke here. Okay. Well, uh, what I'm trying to do is uh, do a really nice fade in and fade out. So it would be start off thin, get thicker, and then fade out thin. Um, so as you can see, there's gaps here, which shouldn't be there. Now, there's no gap, but it's got a lumpy beginning, which I didn't intend. Oops. See that? Lumpy beginning. Gap. That's a little better, but doesn't didn't register the uh, fade in. It just abruptly, sort of abruptly started. Okay, there's a pretty big gap there. Gap. Gap. Oh, that's actually not bad. Oh, gap. Lumpy. Gap. So, um, yeah, that's typical. Three gaps this time. And lumpy beginning. This is not what we want. Uh, and this is basically the lag that everybody's complaining about. Um, anyways. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, save this. Let me do another one really quick, by the way. Uh, just... just Actually, let me fall over. I'm going to compare this uh, later with the, the setting modified. Okay. Boy, it's hard to do this. Filming and uh, writing at the same time. Okay, so, yeah, same problem still. The K, the lumpy beginning there, it's missing some strokes. O, big problem. The H, T, that's really messy. I don't know if you can see that there. The E, the middle stroke is almost non-existent. J. Okay, so it's pretty ugly. Okay, I'm going to save this on the desktop. Okay, and I'm going to close Painter for the time being. And now we're going to go to uh, the control panel. And uh, in the control panel, uh, in uh, XP Tablet Edition and Vista, there is an item called uh, Tablet and Pen Settings. So that's where we're going to go. And within that, uh, third tab is called Pen Options. And inside, second item, let me highlight that, it's called Press and Hold, uh, which is set to right click. I'm going to click on the Settings button. And as you can see, the Enable Press and Hold for right click is checked. And that's the default setting in uh, XP Tablet Edition. Um, so uh, what he what he's discovered is if you uncheck that, you get rid of the um, lag. But he also uh, suggested that we uh, uh, have to uh, uninstall the Wacom driver before we do this. Uh, the, meaning the Wacom driver you install to get your art applications going. Otherwise, the native Microsoft driver uh, will not let the pressure sensitivity take place in those applications that doesn't use it, obviously. Uh, but instead of doing all that, actually, I have another solution um, which I'm going to show you. But first, I'm going to uncheck, enable, press and hold for right-click, and then say OK. Um, 